So guys, Tesla has been pushing out some really incredible vehicle updates over the past few weeks with the Model Y and Model 3 standard bringing a fresh new design as well as the 5G connectivity and the hardware for revision. All of this leads us to the curiosity of what's coming up next and it looks like our first preview is hidden within the latest mobile app update. Over the past few months, Tesla has introduced several updates to its mobile app adding a range of useful features such as charging virtual queues, dash cam live streaming, vehicle sharing, and so much more. The most recent update also includes a new screen sharing option allowing owners to view a live feed of their vehicle's in-car display directly from their phone. In addition, Tesla has begun integrating early AI tools designed to track usage, log service history, provide maintenance reminders, and even answer technical questions before owners need to contact support. Altogether, these updates create a far more connected user experience bringing nearly every major aspect of Tesla's ownership into a single unified platform. However, with each public app release, we continue to uncover early previews and hidden codes that point towards new features expected to arrive in the upcoming builds. One of the most interesting discoveries is something called Tesla Challenges, which looks like a feature where owners could unlock trials or rewards through different achievements such as the amount of supercharging sessions. These rewards will incentivize unlocking software options such as premium connectivity or full self-driving and possibly even be applied towards purchases in the Tesla online store. Tesla is also preparing to launch a new feature called Charging Multipass, which lets owners pay for charging sessions using just the Tesla key card, making the experience nearly as seamless as plugging into a Tesla supercharger. Instead of needing to create an account with third-party charging providers or using a credit card, owners will simply be able to tap their key card on the charger to start a session instantly. Alongside this, code references have also revealed to an upcoming feature called Supercharger Mileage. Similar to Multipass, this system would allow owners to use mileage-based passes to charge at third-party stations. These passes could be loaded and activated in advance offering a simpler and more flexible way to manage charging on the go. Alright guys, so these constant updates have been really fantastic and it's just barely even half of the things that are on the list. There's just so much packed inside and so much found within the codes that's coming up, but there are things packed inside such as dynamic vehicle visualizations, vehicle charging improvements, as well as vehicle sharing. These are things that are going to be coming up in the next software update that's going to completely change the way you see and feel your car. But one additional thing here that was discovered and found hidden deep within the codes, this is something we thought would have never come this early, but it seems like Tesla is soon taking the leap. Just recently, spotted within the same codes is something entirely new, something that we didn't expect Tesla to introduce this early on. Tesla has now included some additional variables in the latest updates that suggest they may be preparing to use different bumper cameras for upcoming vehicles. Since the launch of the Model Y and Model 3 standard, all new Teslas produced since then have included a front bumper camera as standard, but shortly after wrapping up production and adding it to the final vehicle in the lineup without it, Tesla now seems to be shifting to a new type of sensor. The new code's references to two distinct versions of the camera, the first labeled as front fascia camera type IMX963, while the second is listed simply as front fascia camera type, leaving the type field blank possibly hinting that Tesla is preparing another version for future models or leaving flexibility for upcoming hardware. And while Tesla does tend to source components from multiple suppliers, each with their own part number, this specific coding pattern strongly suggests that a hardware revision might be on the way. What's even more interesting is that multiple older Model 3s have recently been spotted at the Tesla service centers across the US with a front bumper cutout and cover, something those cars didn't originally come with. This comes despite Tesla recently confirming to Sawyer Merritt on X that they currently do not offer a retrofit option, nor do they have any immediate plans to introduce one. However, these new sightings combined with the updated code references suggest that Tesla is actively testing a new version of the bumper camera, possibly intended for existing owners. This could be the strongest indication yet that Tesla is preparing a new part 
for the updated camera hardware designed specifically for future retrofit rollouts. So there we have it guys, some really incredible software features have just arrived and many more on the way. Tesla is really focusing on improving the overall ownership experience and also at the same time they are preparing for what's coming up next with unsupervised as well as RoboTaxi. With each and every single one of these software updates rolling out, it seems like there are more and more of these hidden codes and strings inside and it just indicates all the reasons why we would believe that they are going to be pushing out some really fantastic options in the very near future once they start rolling out the RoboTaxi as well as cars that you can put onto the fleet. I do think that if Tesla had a better way of hiding it, they would already do so. But at the moment, all of this is public for you to see. You can preview it by going into the apps and the APIs. You guys can find all that yourself. It's just really incredible stuff what you can dig up. Now obviously for the most important part, that is the front bumper camera findings. This is where Tesla looks to be improving on what they have developed and designed a few months back with the Cybertruck. That was the very first car to be getting this front bumper camera. And throughout that entire time, there are iterations as they typically do with every single development and part that they push out. We all know that Hardware 5 is on the horizon a couple months out and we should be hearing much more about that. And they did say a few months back that they are working on a comprehensive cleaning solution for future hardware. And this might be the very first sign of that. The part number IMX963 as well as the Type 0, that is the two that have just appeared. And what we have on our cars right now, that isn't listed officially. So that just means that at least there's going to be two more variations of the front bumper camera coming. And that just makes us feel as though we should be holding out to see what's coming with these new sensors and if Hardware 5 is going to be changing up the entire hardware suite. So yeah, this is all really incredible stuff. And if you haven't heard already, Hardware 3 vehicles are going to be getting FSD V14 Lite. And all this might somehow be related to that with the new front bumper camera requirement. I would wait to see and hear more about it. And I'll continue to keep an eye out and update you as quickly as possible. So I would love it if you stick around, hit that subscribe and the bell notification if you haven't already done so, because I know a ton of you guys are just watching and missing out on that button. Do that and then head over to X and follow me at Hey Johnny. Over there, you will see things you wouldn't see over here. You can chat with me anytime or respond as quickly as possible. Anyways, this should be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.